It's Beer O'Clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Lane Brew Co. And this is their Mango Licious Pale Ale, coming in at 4.7% ABV in a 330 milliliter can. There's a look at the can wrap. It's got a nice orange wrap on it, very mango-like, very kind of, it's got this kind of juicy look to it with splashes of juice. Somebody bombing into probably mango juice. Yeah, a very kind of drinkable, juicy vibe to the to the can label. Let's get it out into a glass here what we get. I picked it up in Lidl. It was £1.49 as part of their recent craft beer festival. Get the beer in the glass. So we got a two finger white, slightly, slightly off white head. Uh, good levels of carbonation. It is etching in the bottom of this glass, mind you. So it's a, it's going to cause a little bit more carbonation because of the, the etching in the glass. It means, I suppose, if it, being a 330 milliliter can, it probably doesn't mean too much because you're going to be drinking this in what well, the average person i think is going to drink this beer in about 15 20 minutes maybe even quicker it just means that that carbonation is not going to get itself kind of knocked out overly quickly that is the slight problem with the etching in the glass is the fact that it it does cause the beer to kind of decarbonate more quickly than a just a normal glass without the etching in but anyway a deep amber in colour. Let's get the aroma. The head's stayed around quite nicely. Let's get the aroma then. That's really mango-like. It's probably kind of dominating everything else. A really tooty, fruity, mango, juicy kind of... very strong mango flavours. I don't know whether it's a mango concentrate or a mango kind of ice cream concentrate. I think the proof will be in the tasting. Let's dive in. Cheers. I'm gonna say it's more of a concentrate. At £1.49 a can, I wouldn't really expect it to be kind of real mango. It's definitely like um, a mango ice cream concentrate. There's a, there's a flavor that kind of just lurks about that. Do you know if you were to drink, not that anybody does, but as a, if you're going back to when you were a kid, um, we all kind of had a sip of raw, like blackcurrant cordial or lime cordial. A laugh with your mates, that sort of thing. It's got that kind of slightly cloyny, artificial, kind of bitter, concentrate taste in there. I can see where all the, they're all going now. Now, um, I went to a music festival recently and on the way back, we popped our head into a cocktail bar. Now, I've never been in a cocktail bar in my life. I'm not really a cocktail person, but I tried a couple of cocktails and I really liked them. And I really liked the concept of it. I had one, it was called God Slayer. It was like a whiskey and 
amaretto, whiskey and amaretto or an ice and stuff and flipping like that blew me away that did. Um, and then I had like, a, I finished off on a strawberry, it was like crushed strawberries that were frozen and it was really icy and it was lovely. I think I had vodka in it, it was really, really lovely but I was remember, I remember being in that, it was about 12 o'clock at night, just a few days ago. And I just remember how refreshing this cocktail was. It was just absolutely mind-blowingly refreshing. And I can kind of see where these craft brewers are trying to take beer into that sort of, like, concentrated, refreshing, fruity territory, which they probably feel they're going to sell a lot of beer in that kind of market. I think the question I've got to ask myself is, would I buy this again? On a personal level, I don't think I would. Everything seems to be... 2020 year... 2022, 2021 seems to be the year of the mango, where there's so many of these kind of mango beers out. And... Um, I get it if you like that sort of thing. I totally get it if if you're a big fan of this kind of style of drink. But I've gravitated towards beers that are a lot more traditional, a lot more kind of malt, hops, yeast and water, nice biscuity, malty taste, followed by a nice hop bitterness. You know, not that I'm an overly boring drink. I'm not a boring drinker at all. I mean, I love a, a good American style double IPA with rasping bitterness. You know, I like the, I like a lot of these New England IPAs, Imperial Stout, Imperial Porter, but I really don't like this phase that we seem to be in at the moment. This, this phase of adding concentrate, certainly these kind of Mango and passion fruit. How many times have you you've been to your local bottle shop recently, or even you know they're creeping into places like Lidl now, where you pick up a can and on the front of the can it's got passion fruit and mango written on it, and you're thinking how many you know how many of these beers do people want these these mango passion fruit kind of concentrate beers? Totally understand it if the hop is producing that mango flavour, if the hop is producing that passion fruit flavour. But concentrate, ice cream concentrates, it's just not for me. Uh, legend has it that the North Lane brew house ordered an excess of mango. The brewer decided to conduct a crazy experiment and the result was a crazily good. Now we just need a name for the perky pale ale he created. Made from mango and delicious. Mm. So, okay, it might be mean. It doesn't... Ah, right, oh, here we go. So, water, malted barley, hops, wheat, yeast, natural natural mango extract. Natural mango extract. Uh, oh, and natural passion fruit extract. Oh, it does have passion fruit as well. Um, doesn't surprise me. Mango and passion fruit seems to be everywhere at the moment. So extracts, oh, I don't know, what does that mean to me? That means like they're not throwing real mangoes in there. So they haven't ordered an excess load of mango. That's that's a load of rubbish. They've actually used mango extract. So um, anyway, anyway, rating, not really for me. Um, I can't wait for this phase of silliness to end where people keep on banging Passion fruit and mango concentrates in beer. Please stop, it's driving me nuts. Um, five out of 10. Five out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe for our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom, cheers.